Are you looking to work with a web developer and designer to create your website? If the answer is yes, then in this video I'll share with you the top 10 things you should provide your developer and designer. But first an overview, what is a web developer and what is a web designer? A web developer is someone who creates the functionality of your website. This is done with a server-side programming language like PHP along with a MySQL database and is more associated with function rather than style. A web designer is someone who handles the front end of your website. Examples are color schemes, layout options, fonts chosen, your menu locations, how the images are displayed, and things of that nature. The designer uses HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in order to achieve this goal. Think of the developer as someone who codes the part of a website that people typically do not see. And think about the designer as someone who codes the part of a website that people do see when they visit your site online. You will need both services for a visually appealing and highly functional website. Now, one person can be both a web developer and a web designer. This is when they're referred to as a full stack developer. For example, the coding languages that I work with are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, and MySQL. I also primarily use WordPress since it's built with the same coding stack that I use. It's also a lot easier for people and businesses to get started with. So what should you expect when you hire a developer and a designer? When you hire someone to create your website, they'll typically take care of the design and the development aspect of your site. They will often use demo content such as random images and filler text, which is also known as lorem ipsum. The reason why they use demo content is so you can see what the website actually looks like. Otherwise, you might be looking at something that might be the most amazing looking blank canvas and wondering, what did you pay for? Now, generally developers and designers don't create content for your website, but they might have an add-on service of content creation. So speak to the person you're hiring to see what additional services they provide besides design and development. All right, so now let's talk about the top 10 things to give your developer and designer. Number one, they will need access to your web server. This way they can upload your website files, your assets, and take care of some service site configuration. Number two, Give your developer and designers a list of websites that you feel best demonstrate the functionality and style that you're looking for within a website. A good developer and designer won't just copy another website, but they'll use it as inspiration and insight into the type of website you want to have. Number three, and this is a very important one, so don't skip it. You have to give your developers and designers some general content to put on your website once it goes live. These include your logo, your images that you want on your website, any content on your site that you want to have displayed, like your about page, your services page, your contact page, some general information about your company, and any other content you might have for your website. This is important because you want your website to be filled out. Remember, you don't want to have an empty blank canvas. You should also draft up a couple of blog posts to add to your website as well. The more content you have on your site, the more visually appealing it'll look when it goes live. Number four, your website will most likely have a contact form and social media icons that link to your brand pages. So provide that information to your developers and designers so that way they can have it properly configured the second your website goes live. You should also give them all your contact information that you want your website visitors to be able to have, such as your name, your address, your email, the names of people or departments that they can get in contact with, things of that nature. Number five, who are your competitors? This is another very important point to consider. You want your website to stand out from the crowd. You don't want it to get lost in the mix of other websites that look the same. So give your designers and developers a list of your competitors so that way they can ensure your site looks better than theirs. Number six, what color scheme do you want for your website? Colors are a very important part of web design. The colors you choose will convey a message to your audience. Number seven, are there any particular fonts you want to use on your website? The font choices can often be as important as the color scheme you choose. Number eight, what are your website goals? What is the ultimate purpose of your website? What actions do you want your website visitors to take when they visit your site? What are your calls to actions? Think about this in advance, write them down and send them to your designers and developers. Number nine, time frame and your budget. Now these go together because time is money. 
If you want your website completed by tomorrow, then the person you hire will likely have to restructure their calendar in order to get the job done. If you want it ready by next month, then the charge will often be less because they can schedule their time accordingly. Remember, developers and designers are often working with more than one client at a time. Number 10, your time. When your website is completed, you will need to learn how to use it. Set aside some time to talk to your designers and developers to see how your website works, what are the types of functionality it has, and how do you get things done. The basics are going to be how to add a blog post, how to add new pages, what's the process for adding images, and things of that nature. Now throughout this process, you might be thinking to yourself, how is your website going to be maintained? So this can be another conversation you have with your designer and developer. Will you be able to self-manage your website? Self-management means you're going to be taking care of scanning your website for any security issues that might exist. Backing up your website on a consistent basis just in case you need to migrate your site to another server or for some reason maybe your server goes down. And is your website fully SEO optimized, which is search engine optimization? And how does your website perform in a browser? These are all very important parts of website maintenance. A lot of people manage their own websites, but often they'll contract with someone else in order to do the monthly maintenance of their site. This is another conversation you should have with your designer and developer. All right, so hopefully this video answers some questions and provides some insight on what you should provide the person creating your website for you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. If you want to download a checklist, visit pixinweb.com. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can download. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your social media connections. Thanks for watching.